All right, so here I have our studio started up. And one thing that we're going to want is we're going to want a LaTeX distribution that is going to allow us to render or knit some of our, our markdown files into PDFs. Now, there are lots of choices out there, but I'm quite partial to this tiny, the tiny tech distribution. So again, in your search en engine, you're going to type in tiny tech, tech spelled with T-E-X. And when you click that, it will give you instructions on how to download and install tiny tech, which can be done directly inside, um, inside R. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and copy uh, these two lines. Okay. Install that package is tiny tech followed with tiny tech colon colon install underscore tiny tech. I'm going to go ahead and enter that right here into the, uh, into the console in our studio. So first it's going to do the first line, install that packages, tiny tech. Gives me a warning that our tools is required but not installed. Um, but it looks like it's still running okay. And now that I've asked it, um, now that it completed that, it is executing uh, install tiny tech. And we can see it's downloading and it will attempt to install that as well. We'll just allow it to uh, continue to work here. Now I've been pausing the video um, whenever there's um, moments of delay here, but the installation of Tiny Tech does take a little bit of time. So just allow it to work. It's going to have to kind of download and install a bunch of different um, packages for LaTeX and and these each of these things can take a, t um, a bit of time. So just be patient with the installation. But here uh, it looks like it has finished. And so now we can try um, creating our first R Markdown document. Okay, there's gonna be a few other packages that we're going to need um, as we do R Markdown. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to come to this top left corner, go to File, New File, and I'm gonna choose New R Markdown Document. And here I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, I want to make a PDF document. And there's a possibility that when you try to create um, a new R Markdown document for the first time, it asks if you want to install some packages. And if a pop-up does appear, go ahead and say, yes, that, that is what you want to do. And so here um, I have some, it pre-populates it with a little bit of a, a template okay and so right away before I do anything else I'm just gonna go ahead and click knit and we're gonna just test to see if our LaTeX installation and everything else is working so I'm gonna go ahead and click knit I'm gonna just go ahead and save this onto my desktop and we'll just call this uh, test PDF And here we go. The test PDF has knit, and it looks like our R Markdown and our LaTeX installation is working well.